Put on your sunglasses and saddle up your horses because we have a yarn to spin that's as captivating as a Montana sunset. You know, the kind of stuff you'd see while kicking back on John Dutton's ranch. You guys do this all day? It gets easier. Speaking of which, you're familiar with Kevin Costner, right? Oscar winner, filmmaker, and tough as nails, John Dutton III himself. This is America. We don't share land here. And Taylor Sheridan, the real cowboy behind Yellowstone and all its spinoffs like 1883, 1923, Yellowstone for Sixes, 1883, Bass Reeves, 1960, and 1944. Costner and Sheridan seem like a perfect combination of talent. One who's great at writing stories, and another who's great at conveying them. But whoa, Nelly. Lately, I bet you've heard about the behind-the-scenes battle between Taylor Sheridan and Kevin Costner. There's big news buzzing everywhere, suggesting that Costner wasn't pleased with his character's fate, and he confronted Sheridan about it. Some think Costner was arguing over dollars and cents, and others even claim he's not leaving, he's just going to spend less time on the ranch. And because of so many news and rumors swirling around, I understand that you're unsure about which is true. That's why, in this video, we're diving deep into the issues between Costner and Sheridan, revealing the truth about why Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 isn't filming yet. And trust us, you don't want to miss this, cowboy. So stay tuned for a complete timeline of why Kevin Costner left Yellowstone. Do you hear me, Donnie? I heard you, John. The whole goddamn valley heard you. February, the beginning of an end. First, our cowboy Costner has a brand spanking new movie series he's directing and starring in called Horizon, an American saga. We'll talk about that in more detail later in this video. So when season five of Yellowstone got split into two parts, Kevin wanted to cut his filming days down. Originally, he was set to film 65 days for part one, but he requested to make it 50 days. For part two, he wanted just one week of shooting, and Paramount Plus wasn't happy about it. Deadline reported that talks between Costner and Yellowstone executives went from a slow trot to a total nosedive. A few days later, Paramount Network announced, We have no news to report. Kevin Costner is a big part of Yellowstone, and we hope that's the case for a long time to come. Thanks to the brilliant mind of Taylor Sheridan, we are always working on franchise expansions of this incredible world he has built. Matthew McConaughey is a phenomenal talent with whom we'd love to partner. On the 21st of February, Costner's lawyer said, The idea that Kevin was only willing to work one week on the second half of season five of Yellowstone is an absolute lie. It's ridiculous, and anyone suggesting it shouldn't be believed for one second. He continued, As everyone who knows anything about Kevin is well aware, he is incredibly passionate about the show and has always gone way above and beyond to ensure its success. April, the ghosted fans. The cast of Yellowstone and Taylor Sheridan were supposed to show up for the Pally Fest panel on April 1st, but you couldn't see any main characters there. They were no-shows, and that got the rumor mill turning faster than a twister in Tornado Alley. But the president of Scripps at MTV Entertainment Studios, Keith Cox, said that Kevin Costner is not just the star in the face of the show, but also the executive producer. He added, We're very confident he will continue with the show. May. Yellowstone will end in Season 5, Costner gets his co-star pregnant. Is it true? And then, on May 5th, the news hit us saying that Yellowstone is riding off into the sunset, that it will end in the second half of season five, and it is supposed to wrap up in December. Also in May, after Costner's wife, Christine Baumgartner, filed for divorce, a sneaky comment then appeared suggesting Costner might have been a bit too friendly with someone on the Yellowstone set, claiming he got his co-star pregnant. These rumors spread quickly on Twitter. One tweet read, I wonder now if the drama surrounding Kevin Costner and Yellowstone's scheduling was due to the rumor of him potentially getting someone on set pregnant. Another tweet piled on saying, So it wasn't Bentley who got a girl pregnant on the Yellowstone set. It was Costner. But hold your horses. Costner's inner circle isn't letting the rumor mill churn out tales. A source close to Costner spoke up real quickly, telling TMZ that his pregnancy rumor is fake and it's all shades of lies. June. They shared inside. See, both Costner and Sheridan might have had their differences, but they're adults and they've been handling it like pros. No mudslinging here. Sheridan shared in The Hollywood Reporter, My opinion of Kevin as an actor hasn't changed. His creation of John Dutton is symbolic and powerful, and I've never had an issue with Kevin that he and I couldn't work out on the phone. But Sheridan does admit that lawyers mess things up. 
Once lawyers get involved, people don't get to talk to each other and start saying things that aren't true and attempt to shift blame based on how the press or public seem to be reacting. He continued, He took a lot of this on the chin and I don't know if anyone deserves it. Horizon seems to be a great priority to him and he wants to shift focus. I sure hope the movie is worth it and that it's a good one. Sheridan has been telling James Hubbard of The Hollywood Reporter that John Dutton, Costner's character, was never going to make it to the final credits anyway. Yep, he's been saying over and over that the show's ending isn't going to change and that it will wrap up the way it was supposed to from the very beginning. July – Another Cause of Filming Delay The sag after caused a pause in the majority of Hollywood films and series, including the shooting of Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2. September the confession of Costner and the final outcome of divorce. And back to Costner's divorce. The court documents say they actually called it quits a month before. Costner fired back with a legal paper of his own, pointing out that Christine had to pack her bags and leave his three homes because of a prenup they signed way back. They added, It is with great sadness that circumstances beyond his control have transpired which have resulted in Mr. Costner having to participate in a dissolution of marriage action, says Costner's representative. We ask that his, Christine's, and their children's privacy be respected as they navigate this difficult time. Now, they've even wrangled over child support numbers. First, Kevin offered $75,000 a month, but Christine, who is pocketing a temporary $129,000, said, Nope, I want $161,000. In the end, a judge said, Kevin, you're paying $63,000 a month. And if Christine isn't happy with this deal and causes more ruckus, she has to pay Kevin $1 million and cover his lawyer fees for the prenup scrap. And you know what she did? She said, all right, deal, and signed a three-page settlement letter. In September, while in court, Kevin Costner finally broke his silence and said he tried to juggle both projects. According to him, there was a long, hard-fought negotiation. He even rearranged his schedule for Horizon to fit the first half of Yellowstone Season 5, but there were no scripts written for the second half. He spilled to the court that he told the network, have them pay me whatever number. We came up with a number. Then he said the number was 12 million bucks, and they walked away. Costner continued, I couldn't help them anymore. He said they offered him less money than before, and there were creative issues. No word on what those issues were, but rumors are flying that Costner and the show's creator, Taylor Sheridan, weren't exactly on the same page when it came to John Dutton's fate. There's news saying that Costner confronted Sheridan about his character, but then Sheridan told him to just act. But don't go throwing your cowboy hats and sorrel just yet. There's a chance Costner might come back for a few episodes to give his character, John Dutton, a proper send-off. And like what Sheridan said in June, John Dutton's grand finale could still happen as planned even without Costner full-time. October – The Plan for Horizon Costner's got plans to turn Horizon into not just one movie, but four. He chatted with Variety and said, Four different movies. They're all different films that connect, so you're watching a saga of these storylines that are unfolding. So what has Costner betting the farm on this? He said to Deadline, I'm not a gambler. People might look at this and say, Oh, this is a gamble. And I respond, Well, I guess it is, but do I want to go to Vegas and gamble? No, I'm not that kind of gambler. I gamble on the love of the story. I'm gambling on people in a sense. I can't make them go to the theater, but if they get there, I'm going to try to take care of them the best I possibly can. And when the Horizon first rode into town, Costner said, America's expansion into the West was fraught with peril and intrigue from the natural elements to the interactions with the indigenous peoples who lived on the land, and the determination and, at many times, ruthlessness of those who sought to settle it. Horizon tells the story of that journey in an honest and forthcoming way, highlighting the points of view and consequences of the character's life and death decisions. The cast list reads like a who's who of Hollywood. We're talking about Gina Malone, Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, Abby Lee, Giovanni Ribisi, Will Patton, Kathleen Quinlan, Luke Wilson, and Isabella Furman. One fan commented, Iconic region, iconic time, iconic cultures, iconic actors, and oh, what an iconic director. Another fan screams, Color Me Intrigue, a two-parter Western film back-to-back -back on a grand, ambitious scale akin to that of the Westerns of old? Count me in. See, Costner is dusting off his boots from Yellowstone, but staying in the rodeo. The first part is set to hit theaters on June 28, 2024, and its sequel is charging in like a bull just two months later on August 16, 
2024. Horizon will take you on a 15-year roller coaster ride right before and after the Civil War. It's not just about cowboys and gunfights. We're talking settlers meeting indigenous people all in the wild, wild west. As Warner Brothers said, Horizon, an American saga, explores the lure of the Old West and how it was won and lost through the blood, sweat, and tears of many. Spanning the four years of the Civil War from 1861 to 1865, Costner's ambitious cinematic adventure will take audiences on an emotional journey across a country at war with itself, experienced through the lens of families, friends, and foes, all attempting to discover what it truly means to be the United States of America. And honestly, do you know how Costner's exit from Yellowstone was like a stick of dynamite to the fan base? Well, the timing of Horizon's release is like lighting a second fuse. It's set to explode right before Yellowstone comes back on air. Costner's making sure all eyes are on him this summer as if he's saying, Yellowstone who? Why Kevin Costner hung his boots in Yellowstone but starts riding the Horizon? The answer's simple. The Horizon, an American saga, is Costner's dream project. It was 35 years in the making. He was so committed to this movie that he put his own ranch on the line just to get it made. Yep, he mortgaged his own property while waving goodbye to a Yellowstone paycheck that was over a million bucks per episode. But why would he leave a show that's like a shot of adrenaline to Western TV? Well, when you've been around as long as Costner, it isn't about the money or the fame. Nope, it's about that deep down, gut-burning passion for telling a dang good story. And his longtime dream project, Horizon, an American saga, is finally getting off the ground. It's like finding gold in the hills. Yellowstone fans started leaving the show? Our cowboy from Reddit, u slash vagabond underscore T, rustled up a new conversation, wanting to know if the journey with Yellowstone is worth it after season one. They said, I'm through most of season one. Does it get better? Does it change at all? And just between you and me, they've got some gripes. They're saying Yellowstone is all about a rich white family that uses violence and other means to maintain their grip of power over the poor Native Americans on the res and everyone else that opposes them. Now, they're a bit puzzled and added, Honestly, I don't know why I don't like them compared to other shows. Obviously, other shows have family slash groups using violence to further their ends. The Sopranos, Boardwalk Empire, Peaky Blinders, Dallas, etc. But for some reason, the Duttons are mostly insufferable especially the daughter and father. Whew! And the internet did its thing. Tons of folks galloped in with their two cents. Some echoed the sediment, advising our Redditor to hop off the Yellowstone train right away. One person even commented, No, it gets worse. Seasons one to three are the best, with each subsequent season worse than the other that precedes it. Season five is like a fanfic parody piss take of the previous seasons. Another viewer exclaimed, No worse, definitely. I hate watching it at this point. But here comes a Yellowstone fan riding into the sunset with a different tune. Simple solution. If you don't like it so far, stop watching it. All you're going to get on this sub is a bunch of bitter people complaining about it. I love this show out of the gate and I've never stopped. It's a show about bad people doing bad things. It's a western soap opera, essentially. Then there's a golden nugget of advice that's just pure gold. Stick to the spin-offs. If you don't like season one, you won't like the rest. Watch the prequel 1883. Their ancestors are far more likable, good people trying to survive. It's shorter, only 10 episodes, to the point, and a far more compelling story. Anyways, speaking of spinoffs, keep your sunglasses on and stay in the saddle because we have all the latest and exclusive updates about Yellowstone 4-6s. It's set to gallop onto our screens this upcoming December. So if you want to uncover the latest news about the most anticipated spinoff, lasso on to this video right here. Stay tough, cowboy, and see you at the Four Sixes Ranch.